Hello, my name is Naveed Sattar, I'm Professor of Metabolic Medicine at the University of Glasgow. Um, today is World Diabetes Day and I think it's uh, really important to reflect on what's happened over the last two or three decades in regards to diabetes and where we're going. So diabetes, as we all know, is on the rise. Um, the number of people is going up almost uh, exponentially around the world, uh, particularly in low and middle income countries. Uh, in high income countries such as ours in Scotland, um, again, diabetes rates are going up and it's causing huge increases in our uh, NHS costs so that actually the number of prescriptions is going up, um, the number of people with diabetes is going up. And partly that's a success because actually we're able to keep people with diabetes alive longer. But on the downside, more people with diabetes means more drug costs and more complications, um, which is an issue. Um, in low and middle income countries, the rise in diabetes seems to be predominantly due to rises in obesity and poor lifestyle uh, and it's a problem because many of these countries are not set up to be able to tackle uh, the health issues or provide a consistent supply of drugs to uh, mitigate their risks for complications such as heart disease, um, eye disease, kidney disease, uh, etc. And thus people's uh, uh, mortality rates are high and also the quality of lives are significantly impaired. In Glasgow, we're helping uh, the, 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 sort of, uh, the goals with diabetes by working on the prevention of diabetes, but also Glasgow and Newcastle teamed up uh, last year to show that diabetes can be reversed. Type 2 diabetes can be reversed uh, by lifestyle, particularly by losing around about 7 to 10 or 10 or more kilograms in weight. Uh, and we uh, published this in the Lancet at the beginning uh, of 2018. And we're following up these patients now to two and three years and onwards. And we're also trying to extend this kind of work to other ethnic groups beyond the whites to see and show that diabetes can be reversed by weight loss. So that's an important uh, factor. And the final thing I should say uh, in diabetes is that we've had recent successes with newer drugs have come on the scene, which actually meaningfully reduce the risk of heart disease uh, and heart failure and potentially kidney disease in patients with diabetes. And a number of trials are going on around the world, some of them led by colleagues in Glasgow, some of us contributing to them from Glasgow, uh, but with many colleagues around the world uh, with a number of drugs, uh, particularly in two classes where substantial or significant benefits in the prevention of heart disease, um, heart attacks, strokes, uh, and heart failure have occurred. And that therefore increases our potential to reduce these risks further, uh, particularly in high income countries uh, at this moment in time. So. Lots of issues in diabetes, lots more work, um, but also some successes and now the task is actually to translate these successes more widely into um, less well-off communities around the world. Thank you very much.